the LF1 slots into Panasonic's range of Lumix compacts, and it's a versatile model that allows you to shoot in the RAW format. We're going to take a look at the LF1 in closer detail in this first look video. One of the first things to point out about the LF1 is its 7.1 times optical zoom at the front. This has a 35mm focal length equivalent range of 28mm to 200mm and features a bright f2 maximum aperture that closes to f5.9 at the telephoto end of the zoom. Behind the lens is a 12.1 megapixel high sensitivity MOS sensor that measures 7.4mm by 5.6mm. The LF1 sensor offers an ISO range of 80 to 6400 that can be expanded to an equivalent of 12800. The big talking point on the LF1 is the inclusion of a 0.2 inch electronic viewfinder that's found at the top left of the body. Viewfinders on small pocket compacts are usually unheard of, but the LF1 has a 200k dot resolution and 100% field of view. There's a 3-inch 920K dot LCD at the rear, which can automatically change brightness as the surrounding brightness levels change. There's full control of program and manual modes from the mode dial on the top plate, including aperture priority and shutter priority, which are likely to prove popular with photographers who'd like to take control of their settings or learn the fundamentals of how a camera can be controlled. Also from the mode dial, there's the selection of creative controls, and helpfully, a live preview gives you an indication of how the effect will look before you select it. Another mode that will be popular with the audience that the LF1 is aimed at is its panorama shot mode, which lets you pan the camera from left to right, right to left or up and down to create an automatically stitched panoramic image without having to do it in your software. If you like to shoot close-up images, the macro mode lets you shoot as close as 3 centimetres. In manual mode, there's the option to set the shutter speed to 250 seconds for long exposures, or 1 2 thousandths of a second to capture fast-moving subjects. In shutter priority mode, the fastest you can shoot at on the LF1 is 1 4 thousandth of a second. As well as offering JPEG and RAW support, the LF1 shoots full resolution HD video at 50i and is capable of shooting a continuous burst of full resolution images at a very impressive 10 frames per second. Elsewhere, Panasonic's optical image stabilizer is featured to prevent handshake causing blur and exposure compensation can be set to plus or minus 2EV. With a small battery providing the power, the LF1 is capable of a fairly modest 250 shots on a single battery charge. The LF1 is certainly a feature-packed compact, and it's also the fifth model in Panasonic's range to feature Wi-Fi connectivity and NFC. It currently costs £379, and you can read the full review just by heading to www.whatdigitalcamera.com.